Hey everybody, it is Scott here from GearRules.com. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from my typical product review or tutorials. I'm going to be doing a pocket dump. This shows up um, every once in a while in the everyday carry community. Basically, I'll be showing you what I carry around every day with me in my pockets. I'll be doing these periodically through the years and we'll see how things change and what things stay the same. Um, to basically give you guys some ideas. So feel free to um, like and subscribe if you do enjoy this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. And I'll be sure to be posting the product links as well as the tutorials um, or reviews if I've done them on the items that I'm carrying. I haven't done them on all of them. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. First, I'll start with my hands. Um, the watch that I've been sporting for the last couple weeks is the Sunto Core All Black Military Watch. This is not a smart watch, um, but it does have some cool features. Obviously, it tells the time, but it also um, tells you your altitude. It has a barometer on it, so it, uh, it can do a storm warning. It's a more of a hiking adventure watch, um, and it has a compass built into it. So. It really comes in handy. It also looks pretty cool. I like its simple but dark theme. So that's what I carry on my wrist right now. For my wedding ring, I have a silicon ring for when I work out or when I'm doing things around the house. Um, this silicon ring is by the company Groove. Um, I really like how they have a lifetime warranty on the ring. I've seen other people who have worn through the ring and Groove will send them another one. Um, and this is the all black um, topographic one. It has little line, topographic lines on it, so I think it looks cool. It looks more adventurous and rugged. So, big fan of this ring. I haven't had a chance yet to ask for another ring, uh, but I'll be doing that soon. So, hopefully, uh, the lifetime warranty holds up well. So, next, we're moving on to my right pocket here, and I have my phone. We all have our phones. This is the Google Pixel 4 XL. The case on it is a Spigen case. I'm not like a super big fan of Spigen. It was just the case that was available at the time when I bought the phone. I do really like this little kickstand here. It makes it easy when I want to watch a movie or TV shows. I can just pop that stand out. Super convenient. Um, and then I always, um, I've seen people do this and started doing this as well. I always have some cash here in between the phone and the case just in case I don't have my wallet on me and they don't accept Google Pay I'd be sure to have some cash just in case so that's the phone moving on the last thing in my right pocket I like to keep my right pocket mainly just for my phone but in the little coin pouch I keep this little multi-tool I didn't used to keep a multi-tool in my pocket um, but having this thing um, has definitely come in handy. The little bar bottle opener affixed to the outside is super convenient to just pop this thing out and pop open a beer. I like that it's not inside um, and you have to go through searching for it and just spend time fumbling around for it. Um, so that's a big plus. Also, I find myself using these spring-loaded pliers all the time. Big fan of the pliers. The other thing that I do find myself using a lot with this is actually these little pair of scissors. I do have a knife that I carry with me always, but sometimes um, at work or different instances and people might not feel comfortable with the knife, so I pull these little cute scissors out and nobody bats an eye. So the Gerber dime has been awesome for me to have so far. Moving on to my left pocket. We are in a pandemic, so um, I carry this black face mask. I have a bunch of these, actually. This is the 32-degree face mask. You, you can get like a four-pack for 12 to 20 bucks. Um, but I, it's almost all polyester. It, it kind of feels like you're wearing like Under Armour compression shirts or workout uh, shirt. It's, it's really awesome. <clears throat> I've gone through several iterations of masks. And this one has been the most comfortable. It's relatively breathable, um, and I actually work out in, in these masks quite often. Um, so big fan of the mask. 
Next we'll go into the knife. Like I said, I do carry a knife with me pretty much all the time. This is the Benchmade Griptilian knife with the Tanto blade. Obviously the, the silver, not the blacked out blade. Um, I have a lot of knives, but right now this is the knife that I'm sporting. Really like this knife. Obviously the company is great. If you guys don't know about Benchmade, um, they make their knives here in America. I've actually been to the factory. It's a sweet operation out there on the west coast. And they make really quality knives. And if you use your knife a crap ton, you can send them their knife and they'll take it apart, clean it, sharpen it for you. Really like the company and really like the knives. So the Griptilian knife is what I carry. And then for my wallet, usually I've been carrying the Ridge wallet, which is an RFID uh, protectant wallet. Um, and I have carried that for the past year. This is a very similar wallet to that. This is an Aviator wallet. Um, they saw my review on the Ridge wallet and sent me one of theirs to check out. So I'll be having a review on this one pretty soon. I'm field testing it right now. Um, it's really nice. It's got, what the Ridge doesn't have is it's got this little, this little strap here that makes it easy to pull out the cards. Um, when when you're out and about. It's got a nice little carbon fiber hole here for your cash. Um, it's a pretty sleek wallet and I like that there is um, a nice little window that I can it's basically looks cooler um, at this angle. So big fan of this Aviator wallet so far. I'll kind of talk to you guys later about what I like and don't like. And lastly, I have my keychain. There's a lot going on, but if you get it going the right way, um, it's pretty sick and pretty sleek. So we'll go ahead and dive into it. First and foremost, I have my Yubico um, two-factor identification um, flash drive. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with this, it's, um, it's like the next step above two-factor identification where uh, you type in your password, it'll send a code to the Yubico app. You have to actually plug this into your phone or computer. Um, so it's like another layer of security. I have another safe key that I keep on me. Um, the Gerber Shard is um, a funky multi-tool that is a little bit redundant to the Gerber Dime, but it is really cool looking, so I keep it on. Um, my keychain and sometimes it's quicker and easier to use. The Phillips here is um, is definitely a game changer. You wouldn't think it would be super good with how flat this thing is, but it is really good. And this pry bar definitely comes in handy as well. Uh, moving on is my car keys with a little um, leather thing to kind of identify it. It's an old car, so just this little key right here. And I have my house and mail key, and with it I have this magnet by Key Bar, which is super convenient because if I'm going out on a run or I need to go ch check the mail while I have my old car key stuck in my car, I just pop these off and then go back into my house or go check the mail, and then I can pop them right on. So this magnet by Key Bar is super convenient. And lastly, is this Olight flashlight. This is the i1R2 EOS flashlight. Um, and man, sometimes when you don't have your phone, this thing is super useful. It is super bright. Big fan of that little flashlight. And if you get them all facing the right way, it does kind of slim, look pretty slim inside my pocket. So that is my pocket dump for the spring of 2021. Um, I just realized it's all black. <laughs> I must have a thing for black. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have any comments or feedbacks, please let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.